Congratulations again to Carol, Jeff, Gabe, and the entire Cook Inlet Lending team. Because of the COVID-19 pandemic, we were unable to show this video at last year's award ceremony, but we are thrilled to be able to share it with you tonight. Now, it is my honor to introduce the recipient of the 2021 Native Seed Capital Award. This award is a $25,000 grant for one Native CDFI offering a strategy with great potential in various stages of development. This year, the Native Seed Capital Award goes to Spruce Root in Juneau, Alaska. Southeastern Alaska businesses face many unique challenges. The rural nature of Alaskan communities located on islands with no bank branches, limited or no access to business advising resources and an economy with few growth industries. Spruce Root has committed to helping Southeast Alaskan entrepreneurs by providing a suite of business advising services with their Pathways to Prosperity program. Spruce Root wants to leverage its $25,000 Seed Capital Award to expand the Pathways to Prosperity program by focusing on providing one-on-one -on -one technical assistance to startup Indigenous and rural businesses. To complement the one-on-one -on -one TA, Spruce Root has developed a low-interest microloan program to help startup business access capital. The Seed Capital Award will help Spruce Root assist in entrepreneurs in completing business plans with an emphasis on a triple bottom line approach and help entrepreneurs move from the idea phase to the startup phase as quickly as possible. Please join me in welcoming Elena Peterson of Spruce Root. Hello, my name is Elena Peterson. My Tlingit name is Gakitin. I am of the Raven Moiety from the Coho clan of Dry Bay House near Yakutat Village. And my father is Eagle Shark Clan. I live here in Sitka, Alaska, and I'm honored to be serving as the executive director of Spruce Root, a native CDFI working in the southeastern coastal communities of Alaska. This place of my ancestors is one of the largest intact coastal temperate rainforests on Earth, spanning 3,800 kilometers along the Pacific coast of Oregon, Washington, BC, and Alaska. And this place is home to over 50 unique indigenous tribes and nations that have been inhabiting and stewarding the lands since time immemorial and whose ongoing stewardship is key to its future for future generations. Spruce Roots reaching its 10th anniversary coming up in 2022 and we spent the past 10 years growing the organization to serve the needs of Southeastern entrepreneurs by practicing one of our core values, Kokodahan Adayu Anachgain. This translates to stop, observe, examine, act. This important value guides all our decision-making from the board level all the way down to staff and implementation of our programs. We've spent these 10 years building relationships, trust, and partners, and learning through both hard and, and, and happy times, but primarily through the partnership that we have with everyone in the Sustainable Southeast Partnership. This important collective impact network has been key to our growth and to our understanding of how we can best support the priorities and needs of our communities and people. This work is not always easy, but we were reminded of the strength of our ancestors. We come from people who had visions for a better, brighter future, and they fought for that. So we're here still today because of them. This work, it takes patience and a commitment to continuous improvement. We not only aim to support entrepreneurs, but we're working to build communities and economic development solutions that lead to positive impacts on society, the communities, the cultures, and the environment that we live in. We're committed to this vision for our future, a place where our future generations will continue to have access to traditional foods, plants, and medicine, where our Klingit Haida Simshian languages are alive and spoken on the streets, where our children are singing our songs and are guided by our values. We're working with our partners here in Southeast, including tribes, native corporations, municipalities, other NGOs and community leaders to change the systems that have not been serving us for the past couple hundred years. And we're working towards healing historical traumas. We're healing relationships with one another and our relationships to this land. 
This is the work of native CDFIs all across the country. And at Spruce Root, we're so humbled to be amongst this important industry um, uh, and, and, our, and our fellow native CDFI colleagues. So if you haven't already, I encourage anyone watching this to connect with the native CDFIs in your area because they're doing amazing work. I'm so sorry that we couldn't be in person to celebrate this moment with all of our fellow native CDFIs and all those attending the OFN conference this year. I remember when I first started this job um, 10 years ago, almost 10 years ago, and I attended my first OFN conference in Denver, it felt like a massive event. I learned so much. And I remember watching the Native CDFI Awards ceremony and imagining what it would take to actually get to that place and just you know how much work it, you know, it would take and, and the possibilities if we could grow to be that big. And I just can't believe that we're here and yet we still have so much to do. So I'm humbled by those other native CDFIs who paved the way and offered the space for us to learn from them. They've supported us in so many countless ways. I feel like we could anytime pick up the phone and call and say, we don't know what we're doing. How can you help? And, and they would be there to help us. So we wouldn't be here today without them. Some CDFIs that I really would like to thank specifically include OISTA, Craft3, Alaska Growth Capital, Cook Inlet, Tongass Federal Credit Union, and Alaska Venta Capital. Our loan clients are also extremely important to us. So we thank them for believing in Spruce Root and working with us through their TA services and loans. And the Spruce Root staff that I get to work with, it's a group of 10 people. I really wanna take a moment to express my appreciation for the team at Spruce Root. Um, they show up to work every day and work tireless, tirelessly to build up our programs because they truly believe in our mission. And to our board for working in the background on our behalf to attract funding and identify opportunities and believing in all of our crazy ideas. Our volunteer loan committee that has offered so much guidance and advice as we learn into lending. I thank you all for the wisdom and time that you bestow upon the organization. And to all of my friends and family who believe in me and support me, Gnachish, thank you. We'll use this funding to improve our programming and TA services. Um, we're going to build and deploy a new series of workshops for entrepreneurs. So Gnachish, Gnachish OFN for honoring our work in this way. We really thank you and are so honored for this award.